Hi everybody. It is Monday. Um, I literally haven't done anything today. I think it's one-ish. I did a little bit of some of my prep you quizzes and I did using that nursing school dive guide. I did a voice recording of me going through and asking the questions and then waiting a couple minutes and then answering them so that I can like listen to that later and like quiz myself. Um, and now I'm going to make cookies because I want to. And I am using a cookie mix. This, I got it at Super One. I usually um, use a different cookie mix that's from Amazon and it's gluten free. Not because I like gluten free stuff, but just the cookies are really good. So I'm about to make these cookies and maybe I'll time lapse it for y'all. I just had to make sure all my eggs were good by seeing if they'll float in water because they're like a month past their best buy date. And I don't really want to buy more eggs because I still had six left. Um, but only one of them was bad, so that's good. I, what I read was that if you put them in water and they sink and then go to their side, then they're fresh. And if they stand on like one end, then they're not as fresh, but they're still able to be eaten. And then if they like float, they're bad. And only one of them floated. All the rest of them stood on one end, so which I knew they weren't fresh but I can still eat them. So there we go. And so I guess I'll time lapse this and watch something on my iPad while I do it. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey everybody. It is Tuesday. I'm sorry that I didn't really film yesterday. I honestly didn't do too much. Um, I mainly just didn't do nothing. I filmed a little bit when I was going to make my cookies. So, I do have a little bit of that. I made the cookies. They were okay. Um, the other ones were better, of course, that I usually make that I had mentioned. But anyways, then right when I finished making the cookies, Brayden got home. Oh, he didn't really like them. Well, he said they tasted okay, but the texture was weird, but I was like, I didn't think it was weird, but anyways. Um, and then after that, I had gone to take a bath, and while I was in the bath, my birthday presents came in the mail, so, from Brayden, so I got to open them, and I was going to show them to you now. Um, so first, I had told him that I didn't want him to spend a ton of money because, like, we don't have a ton of money. And that if he was going to spend, like, closer to $100, that I wanted it to be something that I could, like, use. Did really, really good with his gift. Um, so, first, the first thing that he got me, I'm going to go in opposite order of really how he did it. But the first thing that he got me is kind of smaller. He said he had already put the second thing in his cart, but that he's seen that and he was like, sure, I'll get that. And this I didn't expect, but he got me this little rose and a thing and it lights up. It's really cute. It kind of looks like Christmassy to me, I think, with the lights. But he thought this was really cute and he knows that I like blue, so he got me blue, so cute and then the second thing he got me which was the really the present is this new ipad case and if you watch my what's in my bag video i mentioned that he was getting me mm. one which i kind of knew it at the time but i didn't know what it looked like or anything this is what it looks like it literally makes it look like a little computer once you put it in and so this is, I'll just open it, like flat. So this is what the case would look like if it's flat. And this is the bottom and the top. And then there's a keyboard. And then the iPad goes here. And it's kind of interesting. 
because it's very like sturdy and it acts like i have a computer that does all the different orientations and it feels exactly like that because it lights up and you can change like the color you can change the brightness and then also it has this like cursor here that you can use on the iPod. But anyways, I think it's really cute. Um, he was so excited about it too. He, he opened it up and he wouldn't even like hand it to me at first. He was sitting there playing with all the settings and everything. Also, I forgot to mention what my plans were for the day. So first, it's 9 o'clock right now. And I'm going to work on a couple prep views real quick. I had planned for my weekly plan thing. I've shown y'all before how I plan out my week. I had planned to get, I think it was maybe four of them. There's four of my prep views that I had wanted to get done yesterday and today. Like it can be either of the days. I also put Wednesday on there too. So I have a little bit of time. But basically i did two of them yesterday so i'm hoping to get two of them done today so i'm gonna work on a little bit of that until 10 at 10 i'm gonna leave because i have a hair appointment and my girl's an hour away and it's at 11 and i'm getting my hair probably cut because my hair is so dead from like years of dying and heat and it's just thin and i'm wanting to get it cut i'm i'm really not wanting to get it cut but i need to <laughs> but I, I might have her do like to here and then see if i'm okay with going shorter but like if you look throughout my hair like i have so many pieces that are like completely different lengths it's like the dye has damaged my hair to the point where that I have layers and I don't like that. But anyways, I also look terrible right now. I haven't like brushed my hair or nothing. And then I'm going to get her to dye it close to my natural color. Hey, so this is my new hair. Okay, the bangs look kind of funky right now, but... Oh my gosh, my dogs are literally about to knock this down. So anyways, this is my hair. Once I get a little used to it, it won't be so bad. I don't know, my bangs look kind of whack. But anyways, it's 9.13 right now. And I just got my stuff in from Amazon that I don't remember if I've even mentioned in this video yet or not. I mentioned it in the last video. I've been looking at the Nursing Student Thrive Guidebook, and she recommends a certain system for organization and studying. So I was gonna do a quick little haul and show y'all like what I got and kind of setting it up a little bit. First things that I got, which are kind of the most important, is the binders. So this is going to be my master binder it is a i can't remember how many inches it's a it's a big one and i'll put like all of my stuff for the whole semester in here as i go through it and then i just printed out some sheets that say what it is um and anyways that's what this one is. Ta-da. And then I was supposed to get two of these. Smaller ones, like one inch, I think. But one of them came in damaged. So I had to contact Amazon for a replacement. So I don't know when that'll come in. But I'm going to go ahead and set up the clinical binder because I feel like this one will be used more regularly and I don't have to print out and do as much stuff to set it up. Then I got these little dividers in different colors and I'm taking five classes. So I've got one for each class. 
which one technically is my clinical, so I guess I really didn't need all these, but I'll just use those in the clinical binder. And so that's what this is. And then, I got a torn up pack of Astro Brights in the same kind of colors, except this is like a pink instead of red, but it'll be. And then I got some pencils because I don't own pencils and I do everything in pen and then I end up having to scratch stuff out a lot. Ta -da. And as you can see, these are basically useless since they are all like that. But it, yellow is my clinical color, so make it. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday and it is like 11.45. I didn't film anything this morning because I really haven't done anything. I woke up early because I thought that I would do stuff and I didn't. Um, I just went back to sleep in the living room. So, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is get ready to go take my test today. And it's my birthday, so I did my makeup. Y'all, so a bit, and because I'm still not sure if we're doing our medication practicum remediation today, I'm gonna bring my clinical bag. Um, because if you watch my last vlog, I did film my medication practicum, and so I have to do a one hour remediation for that and then retake it at some point. And I don't know if that's gonna be today. Or what? Because she did say our remediation would be today a week ago, but she never sent out an email about it, so I'm still not completely sure. But I guess I'll find out today. So, anyways, I gotta go put my dog up and then head out. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. It's about 8:30. Um, so usually on Thursdays, y'all know I have class at 8, but it was canceled today because the test that I took yesterday was kind of like, it was kind of like a test for this class, but it was also like, you have to pass it to pass this semester, so it's a pretty big deal. Um, and so they had that like on a separate day, and so we don't have class today. So anyways, I took that test yesterday. I can't remember if I updated y'all after that, but... I passed it with a 96. My whole class passed on their first try, so she's gonna get us a little reward next week. Um, and then after that, I went to go do my remediation for the medication administration practicum that I filled last week. And so the remediation was supposed to be like an hour of like reteaching. And so I don't know if I did an hour, it might have been less than that, but basically she just let me go back through the practicum and her like help me and show me like what to do and then after i finished going through it she was like well you can go ahead and retake it now so i was like okay so i went ahead and retook it and passed so yeah passed i mean i think the highest you can make after you fail it is an 80 so like it's not a good grade but it's not like a bad grade like and 80s are our lowest passing grade, so still, like, I technically have a passing grade. So, anyways. Um, then I came home, and me and Brayden changed really quickly. And then we went in the opposite direction to go eat out for my birthday. And we literally live in the middle of nowhere, so it's still, like, an hour in the opposite direction. So, we went to go eat. It's, like, a hibachi place. And... That was nice. And then we went to go to the TJ Maxx that's there because I love TJ Maxx. And I was like, I want to go shopping for my birthday. So then we went to come home. And halfway home to the point where there's no gas stations around, we realized I didn't have enough gas. So we had to go like kind of out of the way to come home to a place where we could get gas. So we get gas and we're heading home and we get right out of the city that we were in or town or maybe, maybe town, I don't know, maybe village that we were in to get gas and then my we hear something some weird noise and my tire was completely flat so 
we had to change my tire to spare on it so anyways i'm about to get my stuff packed up and then i'm back to head to my counseling appointment at 10. here's a video of my cute little birthday tire yes yeah, spare tire i just love it whenever my tire goes flat and i have to put on a spare tire Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. It is 7.05. I've got to be at the school at 8.15 because uh, I have to do a learning contract for the test that I failed last Friday. So I just wanted to take a couple minutes this morning on my way to talk to you guys because I really have not filmed that much this week. Yesterday I think I only vlogged in the morning time. That's how it's been like every day. But so I basically didn't have class yesterday morning how I normally do. And I still had to be at the school at 10 for my counseling appointment. Which went really well. If you remember me mentioning yesterday I needed to go get my tire changed because I had a flat tire on my birthday night and so basically I called them that morning and they were like yeah like you can come in it'll probably just take like 30 minutes to an hour well by the time I get there it's like 11 30 and my next class starts at 12 15 so I go in and I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, do you think this can be done by 12.15? He's like, it'll probably take 30 to 45 minutes. So he was like, do you want to just wait? And I was like, no, because I really don't have any other, like how I can come. Like my class don't get out till four. So I really don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. Anyways, I ended up paying for it, it was $133. The guys were really nice and I guess that's kind of average but so anyways I get my car get to class at 12 15 get out of class early so I got out of the class around 3 3 15 3 30 somewhere around there come home and basically I come home and I let my dogs out to go potty, how I do immediately when I get home. But my dad, who lives across the road from us and has a golden retriever, got home at the same time we did, and or I did, and let his dog out as well first thing. So I didn't know that, and she ran over to my house and started trying to play with my dogs. I really just sat at the couch all night and did nothing because I was so bored and lonely. And then I went to bed, honestly, a little bit early because I didn't really have anything else to do. And then I'm maybe sleeping for 30 minutes and Brayden gets home and is calling me to come unlock the door because he didn't bring his dark key with him. So anyways, yep, so today I'm going to have a class from 9 to 12. Well, first I'm going to have 8.15. I learn in contract. Then I'm up class from 9 to 12. I get out of class. I'm first going to probably go by Tractor Supply and see if they have any deworm and stuff. And then I'm going to go by either Super One or Walmart. Probably Super One because I got the drink deals because I need to buy drinks. Like Cokes and stuff like that. And pick up some groceries because I need to pick up some groceries. And I forgot to bring the grocery money. Hey everybody. So I'm home now. I think it's probably, not sure what time it is, probably 1.30 or 2, close to then. I'm going to do a little grocery haul because I went to Super One and got some groceries. So first I just got some of these six packs of Cokes and Dr. Peppers. If you get four of them, you get a pretty good deal on those. They finally had some of my... Rainbow Little Bites back. So I got some boxes of these because the other ones aren't as good. I got some lettuce um, 
for salads and stuff. Um, I got some more of these cookies. I don't remember if I showed them in the last one I did. Bryden loves these little sugar cookies. I got two different types of these little mini muffins. As y'all can see, I just love muffins. I got some red potatoes for a meal I'm gonna cook. I got some bean dip because I wanted to try it. Um, a can of corn for a meal I'm gonna cook. This Tony's injectables for a meal I'm going to cook. All this is for the same meal if I say that. Um, soy sauce because we're getting close to out of our other soy sauce. Um, apple juice because I always keep a thing of juice for me to drink. Um, milk because our other little thing of milk expired. Some taquitos, because Brayden likes taquitos. I like them too, but I think Brayden probably likes them more than I do. Some of these pizzas, because I love square pizza, um, and they've been out of the pepperoni ones since me and Brayden got married. So since January, they've been out of the pepperoni ones. Chicken for my meal. And carrots for my meal. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up and I'm probably gonna cook my meal tomorrow so I'll film it for y'all since I showed y'all the groceries for it. I'm excited. So I'm gonna put these up now. Hi everybody. So it is early on Saturday. Why say early? Not really, but I just woke up so I haven't fixed my hair so I look stupid. But I was gonna show y'all since I was telling y'all about my recipe I'm making. I was gonna show y'all so with this chicken, um, red potatoes, um, carrots, and onion. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, and this injectables that I'm going to put into the chicken. And so this recipe is from my mom that she sent me. I don't know if she just found it or if it's maybe just something that everybody knows how to make. So first thing that I'm going to do is put this together. I'm gonna open up this so I don't have to after I get my hands on chicken. This is what it is. Injectables. Tony, I don't know how to say his last name. Sorry, I know I'm from Louisiana, but I do I'm doing my boy Tony wrong. Tiny shashers. Shasheries. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna cut open my chicken. Okay. <gasps> hey, Brayden. Does, is that all supposed to be in there? Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to call my mom and ask her how to do the chicken. But this is what... How much I used of the oh, sorry y'all my kitchen. This is how much I used of the injectable. And then I'll show you what the chicken looks like right now. Poured some extra over the top and in the bottom. So that whenever I stick the vegetables in, they'll get some of that flavor as well. This is what it looks like right now, the chicken's underneath all that. But I'm gonna turn it on high for like two to three hours, she said, and then on low until we're ready to eat. Basically, normally when you cook it, you would just leave it on low for six to eight hours, but it's already like probably 11.30 or 11.45 or something now, so if I left it on for six to eight hours, it would be pretty late before I could eat supper. So, we'll see. I'm excited. Hey everybody. 
I forgot to film, or I didn't film anything else the rest of this week. So, basically, the chicken was not good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it had no flavor. So, like, add some spices or, like, Tony's or something like that because it was, like, flavorless. And, anyways, home tight, you guys. Enjoy the video. I'm literally editing this and making bright and shine a light on me. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> and subscribe and comment. And I post a new vlog every Tuesday at 12. So, thank you. Bye.